What's up, guys? Uh, got some TTMs back in the mail. Um, already cracked them open. Two I'm happy with. One is peculiar. Um, I'll talk about that uh, when I turn the camera around. Um, just wanted to say uh, I'm filming this on May 18th, so I think it's going to be... I, I tend to film videos and publish them ahead of time. So I think this is going to be one of those ones that probably like June or July, it'll be in the queue um, to show off. So, you know, if things change by then, um, something I can't control. But um, I do want to turn this around and um, show off what I got. And uh, hopefully... Uh, it's something that, uh, you know, TTMing is something that you get into because, you know, I've always maintained that with the craziness of the hobby these days, um, I tend to, you know, I think some guys call it widen, widening their net, expanding their collecting horizons. And I took up TTM um, and I've had a blast with it, to be quite honest. Um uh, Definitely learning some different aspects to it, but um, I'll flip the camera around, show you what I got, and uh, we'll go from there. Sit tight. Okay, guys, so we've got three TTMs. Let me just show this. Uh, so the first one came from Phoenix, Arizona. It was mailed out April 27th. Now... I sent it off April 15th and got it back today, May 18th. Took 43 days. And we have Mr. Jim Schoenfeld. Jim Schoenfeld is the former captain of the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, watched him growing up. Here with his 74, 75 OPG, and this one his 76, 77 OPG. Um, two of two, so happy about those. Um, he's probably more known for a lewd comment that he made to referee Don Koharski back in the day. Um, there's video of it. If you just Google eat a donut, you fat pig. Something he yelled down the tunnel to uh, referee Don Koharski, and it was caught on camera. And, uh, yeah, he, he got in quite a bit of hot water for that. Uh, next one. Mailed out May 10th, so it took eight, year, or eight, years, eight days to get here from Daniels, New Jersey. Sent it off February 19th. And got it back today, May 18th. 88 days. This one's a good one, guys. I've obviously opened these up. This one is from none other than Glenn Chico Resch. Glenn Resch was a huge, huge part of the early years of the um islanders um i think billy smith came along and kind of stole the reins but these are both from the 74 75 set um he signed them both glenn chico resh you can see that so two of two um went on to become a color analyst um played several other teams they escaped me right now but i'm sure there's some of you that will tell me um because some of you like to do that um but yeah he had a decent career so this last one is bizarre so it was mailed out may of 2021 from pittsburgh pennsylvania i also mailed this february 19th got it back today and it took 88 days focus so this one is very bizarre because this what was is what was in there 
Brian Trottier. Okay, tells all about his career. So this is a card giving out, given out at a Silver Dart Arena in Petawa, Canadian Forces Petawawa Base, 2007, and is autographed. Now, I believe that's actual ink, but the problem I have with this is I didn't send this. I sent him two cards. Um, he kept the cards and sent this. And, um, you know, I talked to um, Garrett Card Cutter about this and said, you know, like, is this something that's very commonplace? <laughs> His reaction was, Mike, it happens all the time. And I was shocked. Um, I guess at the end of the day, you know, Garrett's thought was these guys might open four or five different envelopes, see that they're TTMs, the cards spill out. He doesn't know who gets what, so he just sends stuff back. And, um, again, a lot of these guys are in their 60s. And they're older. Um, who knows? They may have just screwed up. But at the end of the day, um, I guess I can't be that mad. He did send me something back. I don't know if it's a situation that Trache requires a donation. If that's the case, I wish they would have just said that. And I would have happily taken my cards back and returned them with a cash, do cash donation. But what are you going to do? Such is life, you know. So that's all I got, guys. Um, hope you're all doing well. By the time this comes out, I'm sure we'll have some more information on whether the national is happening. I, for one, have canceled my hotel, so I don't think I'll be going. Although I do have a play someone to stay with if I choose. The only problem is I don't think the Canadian border will be open by then, uh, beginning of August. But we shall see. Anyways, hope you're all doing well. Take care.